one thing that's really important in GIS work when you're using overlay, intersect, and other analysis operations is to figure out what your final output is desired to be in terms of the data representation. In other words, do you need to go the vector route or do you need to go to the raster route? Depending on your needs and the needs of your users and how you want that data to be represented spatially will affect whether you decide to go the vector route or the raster route. What I mean by that is that I, in this case, in my analysis here, I've got this vector data set where I've got areas close to roads and areas close to rivers. I also have a raster file where I have areas that are high in elevation, flat, and also where the land cover is equal to pasture and hay. Now this is all so that I can get to the point where I can cite my optimal locations for a fire tower observation in the loose hills of eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. So I've got some data that's vector and some data that's raster. Here's my raster data, right? It's, it's a set of, of cells. My vector data is polygons. In my case, what I want is for all of the raster data to become a polygon. In other words, I'm going the vector route. Now, before converting the raster file to a vector file, one thing is very important. Notice that I've got areas where the elevation is okay, the slope is okay, and the land cover is okay. Now, this is a raster file. I've got the not okay areas in clear or hollow, but really it's a grid. I've just symbolized the clear or hollow to now beige. So you can see that this is actually a, you know, every, every cell in here actually has a value. But I really want to select, and an easy way to do that is go to the attribute table and just go ahead and select um, this row. Now I've got everything with the value of 1 selected. Great. So that's, that's a way to do that. And now I can convert that into a vector file. So let's go ahead and do that now. How do we do that? We go under Search. And we're going to go to raster to polygon. And we can convert it right here with the raster to polygon tool. My input is going to be NOK, SOK, EOK. In other words, national land cover is OK, the slope is OK, and the elevation is OK. And my output is going to be this shape file here, NOK. S O K E O K dot shape. Then it's going to do its thing, and when I'm when I'm done, I'm going to symbolize that in a sort of a darkish, bluish color. Let's go to this. Okay, all good. So let's take a look at that in more detail. There was my original file. Notice how those cells became polygons. And this is where I was saying, you know, it depends on your needs, but these little squares now are triangles, right? And this larger block is now a multinodal polygon, okay? So now I've got truly a vector representation of my raster file. Great! On to the next step.